This TikToker tries to take down local family businesses for the most ridiculous reasons. Even people who live in the same town as her are calling her out. And her defense is because everybody is jealous of how pretty she is. So without further ado, let's unpack this together. Hey coffee shop, I'll tell you what. I filed a lawsuit. I filed two lawsuits. Consider this my gift to you. All right, everybody, welcome back to a brand new day on the Curtis Price channel. Hope you're all having a very cool and vibey day. And yes, you did hear that correctly. This TikToker is literally insane and probably one of the biggest Karens on TikTok I've ever seen. This account is called Vegan Riz. She has around 500,000 followers on TikTok and 10.5 million likes. And all she really does on there is complain about everything. Guys, she even slates her mother on there and sometimes records their private conversations. <laughs> Now, funny enough, I actually discovered this TikTok drama on Reddit of all places. And here's the story, ladies and gentlemen. Vegan Riz one day decides to go to a coffee shop. Now, this isn't her first time in this coffee shop. She often goes in there and records TikToks. But of course, guys, the awful owners of this family-run business had to come over and just ruin her day. And we we're all asking the same question. What could this horrible coffee shop possibly have done to this poor girl to make her try to file a lawsuit against them? Well, they asked her not to film inside the coffee shop. <laughs> Now, they never actually asked her to leave the coffee shop. They just politely asked her not to record anymore. Now, most people would have gone about their day. They would have put the phone down, apologized to the owners, and carried on drinking their caramel ice latte. But not this woman, ladies and gentlemen. As soon as she leaves the coffee shop, she sits inside her car and pulls the ultimate power move. She makes a bunch of TikToks on them. <laughs> and when I say a bunch, I don't mean five. I mean 40. She made 40 TikToks in one day on this coffee shop. And all they did to her was politely ask her not to film in a private establishment. And in these TikToks, which we are going to be taking a look at in the bit, she proceeds to complain about them. Tries to make a phone call to the coffee shop. Tries to call a lawyer. She even found pictures of the owners to use them in her videos to mock them on TikTok. When you think that's it, no, 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 ladies and gentlemen. She said that the only reason that she would drop the lawsuit is if the coffee shop sent her a letter of apology and a gift card. <laughs> But then the situation becomes more interesting when you learn that this isn't actually the first time she's done this to a local business. She caused a ruckus in TJ Maxx of all places and complained about it. And the town she lives in is a very local town and even the people on the street have been calling her out. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a lot to go through today, okay? I mean, this woman is literally the biggest Karen on TikTok I've ever seen. This is a woman who demonstrates her power using her TikTok account with 500,000 followers to make small businesses cower into the submissive position. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're on our daily grind, of course. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, comment down below for the algorithm, baby, okay? Me and Jerry still ain't talking. And we ain't talking until we reach 80,000 subscribers. Fuck you, Jerry. So with that said, I want to thank all of you guys for all the support you've been showing recently. You guys have been killing it in the comment section. You're just destroying it, guys. Really appreciate it, damn it. And now let's proceed with watching the TikTok she made once she got in the car, complaining about the coffee shop. We love having you as a customer, but we no longer want our business to be part of your vlogs. How is this fair? A local coffee shop owner told me, you're not allowed to record in here anymore. You can come in here as a customer, but no more filming. How could she say that to me and not everyone else? Like, how come people in this small town think that one rule can only apply to me, but not everyone else? Like, unless your coffee shop has a sign that says no filming, why do you just want to lay that rule on me instead of the rest of the general public going into your coffee shop? So just to start off, she proceeds to take the path of a victimized mindset. Oh, brilliant. Can't understand why the rules only apply to her and not to everybody else. Well, let's just take a look at some of the TikToks she was filming inside this coffee shop. There's this one. TikTok shared a post saying it's spooky. The children between ages 8 and 12 on average want to grow up to be a blogger or YouTuber. There's this one. And that was empty. There were no customers. So this is one. <laughs> She's bald. I guess there's this one and people are in the background, but that was like the skeleton dancing trend everyone did. So you're telling me you can't understand why they asked you to stop filming as you proceed to do a TikTok dance in a coffee shop. <laughs> and also you sit there recording people in the background of the coffee shop. But that doesn't matter. It was for the skeleton trend, everyone. You know, the TikTok skeleton trend. It was really popular. It's very justifiable. It's a coffee shop. You meant to sit down. Put your earphones in, listen to some music, write a script, or do some drawings and stuff, you know? Not a fucking TikTok dance. Hello, you right? How are you doing? I'll just have a Rizzy ice latte, please. Yeah, nice one. Would you like me to walk you to your seat? Oh no, that's fine. No, I'll just uh I'll just go over here. Thank you. No one fucking does that. 
No one! And then, ladies and gentlemen, she proceeds to say that she's going to file a lawsuit on this coffee shop. And you might be asking, what's the reason? Well, the reason in is discrimination. I am suing a coffee shop who discriminated against me for being a woman. I have a mountain of evidence to prove this. The business owners told me I can't open my camera. I asked why, because all customers should be treated equally. That man has his camera open, he's a customer, the same way I have a camera open and I'm a customer. I said, oh, well, he's working. His camera's related to his work, well, so is mine. I have the receipts to prove it. Now I'll show you pictures. See this girl taking pictures in a coffee shop? See these people taking pictures in a coffee shop? There's only one difference between me and them. I was in that coffee shop. The owners told me I'm not allowed to take pictures or videos, but everyone else can. I filed a lawsuit. I filed two lawsuits because that's discrimination. What does the coffee shop do? They try to amend my claim. We didn't discriminate her. We just have a no filming policy. Bull fucking shit. Look at the story on your profile. Okay, so all the arguments she's making here is all to do with discrimination, okay? Apparently she shows a bunch of proof that other people have taken pictures inside the coffee shop and everything. Well, the difference is here, okay, is that they took pictures of their coffee. You are setting up the camera and doing a fucking TikTok dance inside the coffee shop. You meant to be seated in a coffee shop, right? Well, what's all this about inside when you're supposed to be drinking coffee? And to add on to my point, they weren't setting up the camera to record a little small dancing skeleton with customers in the background. They were just taking pictures of their coffee. And also just the way you're handling the situation as well tells me you're not really a very respectful person. And just as I mentioned earlier, she did actually cause a ruckus inside TJ Maxx and this was before the coffee shop incident. And chances are the coffee shop probably saw the video you made on TJ Maxx and thought to themselves, no thank you, we don't want any of that drama in our small family business. But not just that ladies and gentlemen, she even uses a point of defense as that she's a young attractive woman. Since I am an attractive woman, it bothers you. And that's sexism. People are hating on me and asking me not to film in their coffee shop because I'm a young, attractive woman. So yeah, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, she's full of evil. I mean, by the fact that she's living in a small town and she has 500,000 followers on TikTok, she probably thinks she's the queen of that town. Well, as the person as you are, let's see how you hold yourself as a young, attractive woman. So what I'm about to show you, ladies and gentlemen, is pictures of the owners of the coffee shop, which she took from the internet and then posted on her TikTok and pretended to dance on them. Oh! Now we're talking, son. You've got them right where you want them. Oh! -hoo -hoo! Take the burn. When I get in, I take a shower, read a book and feel empowered. Smoking on that sour, got me counting down the hours. Thinking of all the shit that they could do but won't allow us. Then I realize they all some fucking cowards. The world is ours. Me and my brother twin like the towers. And we want it now, never later. No more favors done with all these traders who be haters on the low. They just hate to see you grow. Sorry, sorry, what? Did you just, did, did you just twerk on the owner? Oh, you sure showed them. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, for an attractive young woman, she holds herself well. But amongst all the other TikToks she uploaded, which, by the way, was countless, she actually posted these TikToks, which was her explaining that there's only one way she will drop the lawsuit. Let's take a look at that together, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, coffee shop. I'll tell you what. You know my mailing address. Write me a letter of apology with a gift card, and I'll consider dropping it. You have until January 7th to make your decision. If I don't receive anything in the mail by Wednesday, January 10th, I will drive to Buffalo, New York, Thursday, January 11th, with a chunk of cash, and I will pay my attorney her retainer fee. You're lucky it's almost Christmas. Consider this my gift to you. Wow, so much authority, so much ego making these demands. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to know, but who does she think she is? You're a TikToker with 500,000 followers. You're not special. You don't get any privileges in life just because of that. And there was no discrimination at all. They wanted you to stop filming in their coffee shop because you kept doing TikTok dances and recording people in the background with stupid TikTok filters. And making these demands as well, she wants an apology letter from them. Apologizing for what? They didn't do anything wrong to you. They politely asked you to stop filming and all of this is just... Something that you've done. You've created all this drama. Exactly like a Karen would They haven't do. even responded to you on social media. They haven't even said a single word about you. And you just can't stop talking about them. <laughs> wow, obsessed much? But get this, ladies and gentlemen. This has been going on for months, even before the coffee shop. Check this clip out of people calling her out on the street. I think it's 
There we go. So as you can see, people know her to be the TikTok who complains about local businesses. And keep in mind as well, this is a small town. It's not very big. So it's kind of one of those towns where kind of everybody knows each other kind of thing. So then people recognize her on the street and then call her out for being a car and on TikTok. Because people in this small little town I live in are so jealous of my TikTok following. People in my small town are straight up bullies to me. They really are so jealous. I'm a vlogger in a small town. And what is her defense once again? Well, claims that she's just a pretty young woman and everybody's jealous of her. <laughs> oh yeah. And she acts like the victim and everything, like she hasn't done anything wrong, that these people are just hating on her for no reason. You are causing problems in a small town. That's all you do is cause a disruption. And when I say disruption, I mean way before the coffee shop, she actually caused a problem in TJ Maxx. We got some cool stuff. A speaker, some makeup uh, stuff. Can I get here? Because we don't feel comfortable with it. In here. I can't record in here? No. I'm not recording you. I know, but just for like the safety, just in case, like my voice is in. I'm a, I do TJ Maxx hauls. I know, but can I just in case, like they can hear my voice, people's voices. Yeah. We're not gonna buy anything. Okay. And I'm gonna post this to social media. Um, All right. <laughs> oh my god. Doing a TJ Maxx haul. Ask the. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. This, I swear to God, only in this town. Oh, excuse me, please don't record because I don't really want my voice to be on the internet anywhere. Um, I do TJ Maxx hauls. <laughs> okay, who gives a fuck? Who cares about your TJ Maxx hauls? You can't just walk around recording everybody. And like I said earlier, most people would have just apologized, put the phone down, paid for their items, and then left. And once they were out of the store, they would have recorded the items they bought and showcased it on TikTok. It's like she thinks because she's a TikToker with 500,000 followers, she thinks she's all high and mighty. Better than all the little people that work in TJ Maxx. You see what I mean by like how she's using TikTok as like a power move? It's just ridiculous at this point. All you're doing is making people hate you more. Hey, why? I mean... Oh. Yesterday I had, a, I had a poor customer service experience and I felt it's something the district manager ought to be aware of. Is it something I can help you with? Sure, I can briefly tell you what happened. Okay. I'm a, I'm a vi video blogger professionally, it's my job. And part of that is daily life and shopping hauls. I was with my kids, we were playing a game, put some things in the cart, surprised me at the checkout lane. And as I was, you know, recording each product, they chose, the cashier informed me I'm not permitted to record in the store of TJ Maxx. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, she clearly thinks she's special. <laughs> the cashier politely asks you not to film because she doesn't want her voice on the internet, and then you call TJ Maxx and complained about it, that you had poor customer service. All I can say right now is, it's advice for her, I think she needs to take a real step back here, you know, pull your mind from your ass, and think to yourself, Okay, I've got a TikTok account with 500,000 followers. Maybe you should try and humble yourself a little bit and think how you can use your platform to positively impact other people's lives. So my advice would be, if you want to start going into different coffee shops and recording, actually take it seriously. Make your TikTok account about visiting different coffee shops from around the world, visiting different restaurants, etc. like I just said, and happy days. And before you record, one more time, ask permission as soon as you step into the establishment. And just for you people at home, if you're having a bad day, just remember guys, bad days don't last. It's all about mindset, about perspective. Go to bed tonight and think to yourself, you know what, today was a bad day. It's gone now, I can't do nothing about it. But tomorrow is gonna be the best day. And all you gotta try to do tomorrow is be a little bit better than you were yesterday. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, love you all to bits. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Boosh, see you all in the next video. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh. You mad, bro? Uh.